Did you see that? That was me running fast through the station that I need to begin this video at. So this morning, before I even began filming, I was faced with a bit of a problem in the fact that I was supposed to change at Clapham Junction to get to St Margaret's, but my train ended up being 15 minutes late. So I missed the connection and uh, I would be put half an hour behind schedule. But thankfully, I did some quick sleuthing on the journey here and I found that Twickenham is only about a 15 minute walk from St Margaret's and I can get the next train going the other way and I can rejig my plan that I had in mind. So uh, yeah, but first I have to actually get to St Margaret's in time. So I'll do that now. According to my calculations, I have about 18 minutes to do a 16 minute walk. On the plus side though, it lets me see some nice suburban London. If that is a plus, I don't know. You can be the decider of that. All right, well, here is the station behind me, but I don't think that bridge actually gets you on the platform. I've got to go all the way to the other end to get to the entrance. These blooming platforms down south are long enough to accommodate like 10 car trains and the stations are so long. This is the one time I wish I was up north with our little two-car station platforms. <laughs> 701. Huh. Nice. I think that's still like the only one of two in service. <laughs> Anyway, now that I've finally made it to St. Margaret's, welcome back to Point to Point. <laughs> So yes, there is St Margaret Station here in Greater London, but there is also a St Margaret Station in Hertfordshire. And as per point to point, you probably know what I'm going to do, I'm going to travel between the two exclusively by train. Now my original plan was to get a train about 15 minutes before the one I've been able to get here um, to Wimbledon and then do some like Thameslink action. Um, I think I was going one I don't remember exactly, okay, but I have had to rejig it. Um, but I can get this 1101 because it's a loop line, and so I can get to Wimbledon Station and just about make a Thameslink connection in about five minutes, presuming we don't get that delayed. And yes, I know it's not the most direct route, but this is point to point. We never do things normally. Of course, when the opportunity presents itself, you put yourself in the uh, X508 carriage of the 455. The class 508 may be retired now, but it still lives on in spirit in the form of these special carriages. So this train, God, it's very noisy. This train, we are riding to Wimbledon. Now, my original plan for this, until my delay happened, was to go to Wimbledon, but then I was faced with about a 25 minute wait for a Thameslink train. Um, so I was gonna like double back to like Wimbledon Chase just to get an extra station and fill in time. But now I can't. But the thing is, even still, taking this loop, going the other way round, because I'd be on the other train going the other way if I had actually made it, um, I can still make the next Thameslink train that I would have been on anyway with about a five minute change at Wimbledon. So, I might be able to put myself back on schedule still. <laughs> Alright, well, yes, I know I just rambled about the plan involving Thameslink at Wimbledon and everything, but I've done some planning now and I think I've come up with a slightly new plan. So my initial plan involving Thameslink, going into the core and then heading to Liverpool Street to get Grace Wranglia, involves me missing a Hartford East service, the services that actually call at St Margaret's, um, by around five minutes, meaning I have to wait 25 minutes there. But I can do a very high risk, high reward strategy by going on this train all the way to Waterloo, getting the Waterloo and City Line to bank, and then running through central London to Liverpool Street. And then I can hopefully make the earlier train. It might not pay off, but high risk, high reward. I might give it a shot.
Right, well that's it, I've committed now. Uh, Waterloo and City Line plan is now in full action. Alright, we're leaving Vauxhall. We are mere minutes away from Waterloo. I'll be getting into Waterloo at 11.49 and I'm aiming for the 1212 Greater Anglia service from Liverpool Street. I think it's doable. This is probably going to end up being the most scuffed point to point I've ever done, but oh well, that's the fun of it. Well, I moved as far forward as I can, which is the uh, fifth coach. To minimise my walking to the uh, ticket barriers. Oh yeah, there's a subway here. I forgot about that. All right, here we go. Come on, underground, don't fail me. Waterloo and City Line. I think I might have actually made the earlier Waterloo and City Line train than I thought I would. I mean, when I was planning on the train getting here. So that might actually be brilliant. Would you look at that? I got a whole carriage to myself because I went to the end of the platform. Wow. I don't see this every day. So yes, it should be obvious we are going to bank on this train as it's the only place we can go to. Um, so the Waterloo and Line trains are every five minutes and I sort of overestimated how long it would take me to do the connection uh, to the Waterloo and City Line. Plus, my train pulled into Waterloo about two minutes early. So, I got the five minutes earlier train than I planned for. So we're going to get to bank at around 5 to 12, which gives me 17 minutes to walk to Liverpool Street. So I should be fine to get the 12-12. Right, let's get the hell out of here and let's get to Liverpool Street. Okay, here's the exit, I think. Cool. Oh boy, the city of London, how wonderful. Right, so I think, where do I need to go from here? Google Maps is frozen on me, which is very annoying. It's been doing that a lot lately. I believe I need to go, yep, that's the building with all the wibbly stuff on it. So that way, and then, yeah, cool, all right. Okay, should be straight down here, I think. Threadneedle Street, great name. Oh, there we are, there's the roundel, and I think behind there is the station building for Liverpool Street. We've got about seven minutes left. Nice! My running's paid off. Okie dokie, service to Hartford East, which is platform four, which is right here. What was that? My original plan requiring the 1242 to Hartford East? and then me getting delayed to actually begin the video? You think that's gonna stop me? No, I'm gonna get the even earlier service, the 12.12. Somehow, I, I'm, I'm honestly astonished. Right then, well, here we are. Already the final train of the trip to Hartford East. Well, not all the way to Hartford East, but to St. Margaret's Hertfordshire. It's surprising how uh, short the trips can be if you actually take the fastest route or one of the fastest anyway. St. Margaret's. St. Margaret's. I forgot Greater Anglia calls at Hackney Downs. I always thought it was just an overground station, but apparently not. by the former Angel Road station in a second. That's the first time I've actually passed by that on a train. Interesting. So we I'm not used to seeing like fully intact, disused stations before. It's a nice, it's a nice interesting sight to see down this line. Alright, Chesant. 
We've reached the uh, edge of the fair zones now. Getting ever so close to St. Margaret's. St. Margaret's in Hertfordshire and not Greater London. Finally. I say finally like it took me a long time. It didn't really, but still, finally. Yay. Yeah, cool. So, here we are at St. Margaret's Hertfordshire. Interesting station. Like it. So, yeah, I'm sorry if this journey was uh, slightly, you know, Typical, I, I suppose, like an actual typical journey you'd take between the two. I don't know. I'm on a bit of a tight schedule today, so I can't really, you know, add too much pizzazz to it. Um, I, I sort of did the high risk, high reward strategy with timing. Though. I don't think most people would take the Waterloo and City line and walk from Bank to Liverpool Street. So, I mean, that could be something. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. And of course, a huge shout out to all my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now. Thank you all so much for supporting the channel.